next at 6. Texting. Driving. You may be surprised who's getting caught. I see a lot of people texting. You know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, it's really not worth it. KXAN News searches hundreds of tickets written in Austin. Who's putting your safety at risk and where texters have been busted? Texting and driving. It's now been illegal for more than two and a half years here in Austin. Police have caught hundreds of people. We wanted to look at the safety issue in depth. Who's putting your life in jeopardy and where are you most at risk? For weeks now, our Aaron Cargyle has been digging into the texting tickets. When it comes to excuses. I was dialing or I was looking through my phone book to call somebody. Austin police have heard it all. I was just reading the message. I wasn't sending a message. Since the city of Austin banned texting and driving, officers have written more than 500 tickets. Ron Yackerson got one of them. I was going to a, a client's house. He was using the map on his cell phone to find it, something he thought was perfectly legal. And I think I paid somewhere around $260. Um, but it was, you know, it was just enough to make it really not worth picking up my phone in my car ever again. At first, Ron wanted to fight the ticket. I think I just grew up a little bit and realized, you know what, it's, it's more than a ticket. It, they're doing it for a reason, and the reason is because they're seeing that, that bad things are happening when you're using your phone and not paying attention to the road, and it happens so fast. It only took seconds for Heather Roundtree to total her car trying to multitask getting onto Mopac last summer. I hit the guardrail head on so it just basically like crushed in the entire uh, front end of my car. So they were saying I was like super lucky like it was just a total mir miracle that like I didn't get hurt. Her first accident at the age of 28 all because she was texting a friend about going to the lake. Of all the ways to total your car it just felt like a really stupid one. We search through those 500 tickets. Here's how it breaks down. Nearly half of the drivers ticketed in Austin are in their 20s, around 30% in their 30s. While teens are often blamed for bad driving, only two were under 18. And the most common place to get caught I-35. Officers on motorcycles drive on the shoulder during rush hour looking for texters. They think that in that slow traffic that it's safer when in all reality it's more dangerous because it is stop and go traffic and you don't know when the person in front of you is going to stop. Heather and Ron say they've changed their habits after learning the lesson the hard way. When I'm driving now, I don't even pick up my phone. And old habits are hard to break. We found five people on this list who have been ticketed twice. And you might be curious, there is not a big difference in the number of tickets between men and women. Now, we have mapped out all 517 texting and driving tickets for you. You can see that map right now on KXAN.com to see exactly where people are getting busted. Police say that number is not a true reflection of the problem because a lot of drivers are just good at concealing. It. Reporting live, Erin Cargyle, KXAN News.